I gotta wait, fuck. Ah! I gotta wait before I open my fucking mouth, cause. Yeah, I'll be, uh. banned for who I am. <laughs> I'll be straight up fucking banded, you know, raped, whatever. Hey. Uh, hey. Yeah. Uh, sensitive. Sensitive ass fucking clown world we live in. But yeah. Update on life and shit is. My older brother lost his mind. And he's no longer in thy camp situation up north. North, north. Where I will be taken over in the future. I mean, I'm there like once or twice a month. Two, three, three. Right now, I'm saving up for the dentist because I have no fucking dental insurance and I gotta get x rays done. The cleaning and x rays is gonna be like 300 some bucks. And I gotta get a fucking oil change. Next month too. Plus my inspection's like two months late. I'm not. I'm not even. I'm. I'm done getting my car inspected. It's a waste of fucking everything. Insure. I, I, you know what? I don't even pay insurance. I'm not going to ever. My mom does. I, I'm. I'm never. Once she passes, I'm not. I don't care. I'll be in the mountains. I don't gotta pay insurance in the mountains. I'm sorry. I, I try to come find my car. Try to come find my vehicle, because if anything, my address is going to be down here at my sister's, 200 some miles away. Good luck trying to find my vehicle and repossess it, you fucking clown. Suck my fucking dick, you're fucking trash. Um, but yeah, long story short is, I'll be living up at camp for free. No bills. Bills are for clowns. I'll be in a secluded, you know camper uh two and a half wide trailer basically a cabin i'll be in a nice size cabin with all the bare necessities you know fridge stove oven whatever about to put an air fryer up there toaster microwave you know tv 5.1 nice surround sound booming up the box actually i, I hooked up this old three-way fucking speaker you know subwoofer mid tweeter box fucking Hooked that up, spliced it in, whatever. That shit sounds like a fucking movie theater up there. It does. It's a beast. On the water, you know, about to have two fireplaces. About to, you know, about to add another. About to fucking put two new windows in that bitch in the front side. My mom and I are doing a lot of work up there this year. We're soon about to shingle the She knows. She knows I'm going to be living up there. <laughs> you know, I have, I have no other options in life, trust me. But we're going to get the roof shingled, whatever, you know, we're going to fix the shed, get a new shed eventually, but now we're just going to paint it, whatever. Uh, but she, you know, she wants me to, she wants my goal to happen, you know, like she wants my goal to happen. We're going to have a generator. I'm going to have like a blue Eddie, a nice blue Eddie generator in my van and shit like that. But for the meantime, we're just going to get like a. 200 200 whatever dollar used gas power generator because sometimes the power goes up the electricity goes out up there in the winter like in a snowstorm blizzard and shit it'll go out for real nothing you can do about it so that's where that generator will kick in because i'm up there in the winter i'm up there you know but yeah i'm going to be working up north and living up there it's going to be a beautiful life it really fucking is you know, a little bit of van life here and there. I might even work, you know, like an hour away. I might work in fucking Williams. I love Williamsport. I might work in Williamsport, which is an hour away. You know, like four days in a row, I'll work whatever. Basically sleep in my van. Come back, drive back to camp every week for like three days, you know. Drive back to camp and rest and shit and live there. That's, that's fucking beautiful. You know, sometimes take trips, whatever, to New York here and there around the East Coast. 
all around the East Coast, you know, vacate, take vacation, whatever. You know, have mad money. Cause I'm gonna have money saved up. Um, there's no bills. There, electric what? Electricity bill. <laughs> my van, the van. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my van. I'm gonna get a nice van too. Like paid off. I'm just gonna pay it in cash, honestly. There's no. I'm not gonna have a bill. Fucking a car note. You know, probably I'm not gonna be paying insurance. <laughs> I'm going to save my fucking money. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done getting ripped off by just bullshit. I, all these rules and shit are made to trap you the fuck away. We live in a trap. Straight up. Kids, families, trap. Rent's a trap. Insurance is a trap. Car insurance, whatever. <laughs> hey, it, if, you're, if your job doesn't pay like life insurance and shit, they... The TV, the TV, which I'm not even going to watch, and I, don't, I barely watch it now. I'm not going to be watching it in the future. There's no TV in that camp, nothing. You know, the antenna doesn't even work up there. It's all movies. You got to watch movies and shit. But, uh, you know, they, they try to scare you into, oh, yeah. What are you gonna, what's your family going to do? They're going to have to pay $10,000 for your funeral. So you got to pay all this money a month. You got to pay us monthly. <laughs> Now, I don't give a fuck when I die, okay? Throw, just bury me up there. First off, I don't want to cremate me. Just make a fire, cremate me, whoever the fuck's in charge. <laughs> you know? Get a bunch of cardboard and shit, sticks, wood. Get a huge fire going and then just roll me the fuck in. I don't need to be propped up on a fucking thing. Wait, just throw me in the fire like a piece of wood. Get it over with, Okay? And what the fuck, dude? You think I give a fuck if I'm properly cremated or buried once I pass? I <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't, I won't have no fucking family, no kids, nobody even cares. So nobody's, <laughs> nobody's even gonna know I, I, I'm dead unless I fucking die like in public on a public street, just hang, hang myself. Hang myself on the fucking street corner or whatever. You know? Or die. Just die out on the front porch. Because if I die inside the cabin, no one's going to know. Until my body starts fucking, you know, reeking. <laughs> and if, we, if I don't have, if the people who basically live up there now are neighbors behind us. They're gone, like, the whole three months out of the winter or whatever, but if their kids don't take over and live up there, no, no one's gonna, like, I mean, maybe, like, kind of in the front, people do drive by once in a while, like, on the dirt road to go further back into the fucking campsite, the mountain, whatever. They'll probably be able to smell me from... from, you know, about 50 yards out. Yeah. <sighs> but honestly, I am going to have, I'm going to make some fucking mountain friends and shit. I'm going to make some friends up there. You know, and I should start ASAP. I should fucking start, man. Instead of being a fucking asshole, you know, straight up asshole piece of shit who don't give a fuck about nobody or nothing except himself, you know, and my kitty cat. All I care about is myself, cat, and my, you know, like, my car, my possessions, you know, my, my camp, my mom's camp, our, our camp, future life, future home, future cabin home, you know. But yeah, we're fixing that place up, you know, we're putting like a side skirt, like a wooden curl side skirt all around, sealing up the roof for now, it, it leaks a tiny bit, I already did some work up there by myself a couple weeks ago, but we're going to do major work on the roof, fix the, like half the electric in the cabin side, basically, the, the fucking electric just, like, 
died, but I don't know, a few, some, there's, had, there's a few somewhere that has to be changed. Like, there's little metal boxes here, there, whatever. Gotta figure that out or get an electrician up, electrician up there to fucking fix the shit. Which might be a little bit of money, but hopefully it's just a fuse we can change. But yeah, the, the roof, we're definitely going to get the roof shingled all proper and nice. Or just whatever, a new roof here in a year or two. You know, the roof's the most important fucking part. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, you know, we're going to figure out the electric slash propane stove in there, uh, uh, heater in there. There's like a nice size heater type thing. Figure out how to get it. My brother knew, he knows how to do it, but my brother's done with camp. He really is. Like, he's... He's totally, my mom's changing the locks and everything. She's she's done with him. But yeah, we're going to figure out that heater. If not, take the whole heater out. You know, and get a new shit. She she wants to somehow put like a, a real fireplace in there. I told her that's not going to happen. Might as well just buy like another propane heater. That doesn't need no fucking electric, electricity. I don't know what, that, that shit's from 2001, my Uncle Ray installed that shit, whatever. But there, there has to be a heater that requires no motherfucking electricity. <laughs> you know, there, there has to be some. You know, and then once we install two new windows in that bitch, we're gonna get a new air conditioner up there. That air conditioner's mad old works and everything, but um, but yeah, we're just gonna fix up camp. It's not that bad. Like it's not bad at all. You just need some work, a little bit of work, to make it like you know last longer and shit for real. There's one dude up the street. He's not like in our lot area, not in our spot, but he. Two dudes are living in this one trail. It's like just the one trailer and it's beat down to hell. It's pretty scary, actually. They fucking live there. <laughs> you know, totally out of sight from where I'm at, thank God. But honestly, I mean, even if our camp did get run down... As bad as that, I'd still, I'd live in that rundown piece of shit. You know, rent free, son. I ain't paying, I, I, I can't afford rent and shit, I'm sorry. I fucking can't. I... First off, I'm not willing to work my life. <laughs> I'm not willing to work my life away to pay rent. I'm not. I, not everybody, you know, is a brainwashed puppet. Not everyone's a little sheep following the rules, you know, people are different, I'm different. I'm not working my life away to pay rent. <laughs> I want to work as little as possible. Honestly, I, I want to work as little as possible. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean, like... It's bad, it's bad, son. Like, everybody hates working, but they, they work mad hours. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Are you that fucking scared? Do you care about impressing people that... Like, nobody gives a fuck what you're driving. How clean it is. Your new purse, your new shoes. Nobody gives a fuck, dude. It's unbelievable. I used to think people would fucking... Oh, yeah, look at me, dude. I'm cool with these new shoes. Look, look at my outfit, dude. Yeah. I don't give a fuck no more. Hey, look at my hair. Hair costs too much to cut. I, I don't get it cut no more. I'm not cutting my hair ever the fuck again. You know, I'll, sh I'll fucking... I'll shave the sides down. So I'll just fucking shave it myself. 
you know, and cut the fucking, cut the hair myself. Is how fuzz what a beast does, son. I don't, I don't know how to cut hair. Like I said, I'm just gonna sh fucking get the shaver out. Bzzz. You know, buy some cheap hair clippers, cause using my mustache little fucking trimmer thing would suck balls to take too long. I just want to be like, bzzz, bzzz, you know, get this shit done for free, no money required. You know, only a fucking nerd. <laughs> oh my god. I, there's nerds who I work with now. They be getting a haircut, wasting their fucking hard-earned money on haircuts and shit, body trim, like shaping up his beard and having his barber like shave it, shave his whole body. Like he's even shaving his arms and shit. It's like, dude, what? You're working to to pay a man to shave your body down and give you a haircut, basically. What the fuck? Like the dude that he doesn't even have doesn't even have a car. Cause all his money's going to body shaving. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? Going to clubs and shit. You're you're working to go to a club and have your body shaved? Are you fucking serious? I mean I'm fucking mind blown. It's unbelievable what dudes are doing. You know, let alone females. It's unbelievable. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, yeah, I haven't... I didn't spend... I spent zero... I mean, except for them razors I bought, which I'm never doing again. You know. I bought, like, razors to shave my face. I haven't had a haircut fucking four, five, six months. You know... I'm not paying no fucking nobody to... <laughs> I mean, maybe if shit wasn't overpriced to hell, I'd get a haircut, but it's it's like 40 bucks. You want a haircut, it's 40 bucks. <laughs> nah, I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not. I mean, honestly, everything's so expensive, food and shit, that even $25 haircut's out of control. It's too much money to spend on a, on a haircut. But the haircuts even got raised the fuck up. So it's it's out of the question. Remember before, like, right, right when COVID started, they were like, oh, we got to help one another. Everybody needs to help you. <laughs> yeah. We're really helping each other by just raising all the fucking prices to everything. It's really helping one another. <laughs> oh, God, people. Oh, God. You know, it, it's, it's mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling. It really is. So, yeah, I'm going to be... Oh, this... Look at this. This YouTube is... It's bad. I'm scrolling through the fucking home screen on YouTube, and it's just... It's so damaged to the, it's damaging to the brain, it's not even funny. It's so damaging. I mean, good lord. It's totally... And you know what? You know, TikTok. The government knew TikTok was a fucking... a trap. But they had that shit for years. TikTok destroyed motherfuckers' lives for years, and then, and then eventually they're like, oh, that's bad, that's bad for you, we're getting rid of it. Well, I guarantee you, YouTube will be bad for you here soon, and it has been, and it will be shut down. Do you, people, do you understand what's... I told you I'm motherfucking losers years ago. The giver? The giver. It's happening, it's been happening. The movie, the book... The giver. We're not... There's going to be nothing. We're not going to be allowed nothing in the future. Because we are controlled, and the controlling is just going to get worse and worse. We're straight robots anymore, man. We are straight fucking robots. I mean, there's only one way to live. Think about it. <laughs> There's only one way 
that you are supposed to live and be happy. You know, which is work your life away, make mad money, have kids in a white picket fence, pay mad bills. <laughs> That's what people think happy is. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. You know, it's, it's totally... Holy shit, man. Just to work your fucking life away. I, mean, I, I don't know why all these women need... What do they deserve? You know, you can... You deserve it. What did they deserve to deserve it? Or what did they do? What did they do to deserve? Like, I seen some nerd at fucking uh, Giant. I looked at my rear view mirror, and he, like, he, he didn't open it fully, but he, like, he opened the car door for the bitch. She, like, like, she can't, she can't open, like, she can't open a car door. Do you understand that, people? It, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but it's bad. It, it's bad, people. It's bad. It's bad. Like, he just, like, he opened it and, like, he did, he, like, opened it and, like, like, stepped all weird, like, sideways forward to open it and, like, did a, like, 360, basically. Looping. It's like, what? Dude. Just let her open the car door. What the fuck? <laughs> you getting brownie points. Like, you're allowed to fuck tonight now because you opened a door for a couple doors for her tonight. For her fucking goddamn Cinderella ass hand. She's fucking clicking her fucking heels and it's like, what? God damn! You know, with her fucking spoon-fed fucking life, her spoon-fed childhood. A spoon-fed childhood. You know, college paid for her daddy, mommy. You know, it, it's totally mind-boggling to me anyway. Yeah. <laughs> spoon-fed, okay? Like, just a yellow brick road of a happy fucking childhood and everything. You know, and now she deserves all the bills paid for her. She deserves not to work. She deserves doors open for her. Okay. Meanwhile, my love, you don't even want to imagine my childhood, how my family fucking raised me and shit made me feel. This and that, man. There's nobody, there's no fucking man or female opening a door for me. And I'm the one that deserves it for real. I deserve shit in life. But you know what? I received nothing, and I still am receiving nothing, and I never will have anything. That's why I'm going to heaven. I'm a chosen one, for real. Like, I'm a straight chosen one. It's fucking bad, son. Oh, my God. I can't believe shit, son. I can't believe all this shit, son. Oh my god, this is... I mean, I can even click, like, new to me. You know, new to me, whatever. <laughs> and it's just more sick shit popping up. And just worthless. Look at this. You know, whoever Sheila Sanders is getting braided by the number one braider in Colorado. And there's almost 150,000 nerds who watch this shit since it has been uploaded a day ago. <laughs> who the fuck cares that your hair is getting braided? Okay, who? Why? 
why are people clicking and watching this shit? I mean, I'm not. You know? It's unbelievable shit, man. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. And there's just so much shit that's undocumented that every, I mean, it's just stupid. Like 10 unluckiest gamers of all time. Uh, I can tell you a story that probably dominates all them faggots. I was number three. Uh, number three on Ghost Recon 2. Search and Destroy, whatever type game type that was. Some popular Search and Destroy type shit. I was number three, ranked globally in the world. And then that was like the first two, three weeks of the game being out. I was ranked three. And then if you weren't on during the update, you got reset. Mm -hmm. I was reset from number three in the world to bottom of the barrel. <laughs> there you go. There's a story for you. That shit was fucking disgusting. Like I was having fun. Top player. Rank plus, you know, known a beast and I got back on from eating some food because I was on like 24-7. I got back on from eating some food and at nighttime and I was ready to play. All happy about to go. Went to my friend's lobby. And uh, it just was horrible. Horrible news and shit. They kicked me out, blocked me, whatever. I, I tried played that night. I, I continued to play. But, but by the next day... I was just like, fuck this, and just broke the game in half. There went 60 some bucks down the drain pretty quickly. Jesus Christ. From being top player, having fun, loving the game, to bottom of the barrel, hating it. You're done, you know, you're out of there. Strike out. Jesus Christ, Lord have mercy. Um, this Hassan Campbell dude is a fucking clown. Good lord. I can't believe shit, man. Yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to just, this shit is terrible. And you know what, gaming, gaming is so just unappealing to me, it's not even, I've seen some Diablo 4 or whatever gameplay, it's, it's totally, totally fucking whack, it's, <laughs> I mean, oh god, it's totally whack. It it just is. It's it's bad. It is bad. Okay, like every game is just trash anymore. It is every game. <clears throat> Elden Ring might be cool, but that's been done before, man. Mad times. Dark soul shit, dude. Yeah, I never played it, never will. I'm done with video games. The Last of Us 2, never played it, but it's the same as the other one. The multiplayer is going to be different. It's going to be a shit show. You know, the next kill zone is going to be the same as everything else. The next Call of Duty, same. The next Battlefield, same. It's, <laughs> it's fucking whack, dude. It's little kid shit who ain't tired of the shit yet, you know? And they're still being brainwashed to fucking hell and wasting their fucking life on the go. Look at this. Why would you... Why the fuck would you sit here and play this game? I'm looking at Diablo 4 again. Like, why the fuck would you just sit there playing this shit? 
It's like, what what the fuck are you actually doing? I mean, what are you really doing? You're playing a fucking video game. Wasting your fucking life. It, it's pissing me off actually watching this shit. It's so fucking useless of just... It's just such a waste of time. It's a waste of life. Think about it. You know, I was I was at fucking Turkey Hill, which is a mini market here, Pennsylvania. Like a little gas station, basically. And, like, there was some crawl side, like, his right eye all fucking crawl side and into his fucking... Some fucking crawl side skinny nerd is talking to a fat fucking nerd, you know, hat, and he had his sunglasses on because he can't even handle his fucking co-worker's eyeball, you know, but they were, I was, I was using the phone to call my mom because I don't have a cell phone because cell phones are for fucking brainwashed fucking cell phone zombies, fucking losers, but, uh, I'm, I'm sitting here, like, I'm listening to these fucking nerds talk, and they're, <laughs> they're talking about, it might have been Diablo 4, honestly, because they're talking about, like, area of effect and shit, AOE, whatever, and they're talking on and on and on about a fucking video game. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, that was actually me years ago. That was actually me talking at work like a nerd. You know, that's that's embarrassing. I was just like, this is totally embarrassing listening to these fucking clowns talk about a fucking video game. Because that's all they fucking have. That's all. Th out of work, out of their shit paying fucking job, no life shit. That's all they have is this video game. They're sharing their fucking opinions and shit with. Is a fucking video game. <laughs> there's no friends. There's no chicks. There's no future. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of life. You know? And all you gamers will understand this shit in due time. But it'll be too late. It's too late by then. You already wasted too much time. Hey. It's over. It's over then. But see, like, they, all seeing I knew about this shit way back before multiplayer or whatever gaming became that popular. Co-op, multiplayer, whatever you want to call it. They knew that it was going to destroy motherfucking lives. But that's, that's the plan. That's the agenda. The agenda is to destroy mad shit, man. This way, that way, this way, that way. <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta understand, people. You gotta understand there's only enough room on this planet for a certain amount of people. And you gotta destroy a lot of shit to fucking keep it going. You know... Because if everybody was, like, a beast in real life, you know, positive and happy and focused on money and shit, there wouldn't be enough money, there wouldn't be enough room, there wouldn't, it's bad. But everybody fucking has a good paying job, everybody has kids, family, friends, it's just not enough room for all these babies popping, you know what I'm saying? It really isn't. Not enough money, not enough fucking, it's bad. Not enough time, that's why all the time gets wasted on fucking video games and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's bad. That's why COVID killed fucking millions upon millions of people. And that was just stage one because we got different stages of different shit coming here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially the World War Three stage was going to kill fucking tens of millions of people in a matter of fucking months. And then you're finally going to have the crazy ass disease, whatever, virus, zombie fucking apocalypse type shit that's going to kill fucking a billion or two fucking people. You know what I'm saying? Billions. Billion. Point something people. If not two billion people will be fucking good. Three, actually, there, there's more than like seven, eight billion people in it. You know what? Five, six, seven billion people are going to die. It's going to be fucking bad, son. It's bad. And you think, you know, that the elite, the elite fucking care? No, they've been fucking planning this shit out. It's already, it's pretty much already fucking planned out. It's already, like, set up for a time and everything. <laughs> There's, you know, motherfuckers are just waiting. It's over, people. It's totally over. You know?
as a, as a mad nerd, you don't know what's going on, you know, like, mad nerds are just working their life away and getting a haircut every two weeks, wasting their fucking money and time. You know, they should be fucking setting up bomb shelters, stocking up, like, water purifier type, water shits, whatever, you know, and food, and making plans and shit, man, and, and, and like, meditating, you know, and, and praying and shit, dude, for real, like, it's bad, man, it's bad, son, better fucking stockpile your goddamn gas mask, motherfucking ventilators and shit. What what are they called? Like gas mask, fucking um, little tanks, whatever. Filter, basically it's a filter. Better be stockpiling some fucking nice filters and shit, dude. Cause it's gonna be fucking ugly. Shit's gonna be ugly, ugly, ugly. Oh. Man, what the fuck, nigga? Man, fuck you. Get the fuck off my mom's computer screen, you dumbass bitch. God damn. Oh, uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna... God, Nipsey Hussle was a cowboy details exactly what Nipsey said to Eric. Actually, Eric Holder is a real G. I respect him, son. Nipsey was a fucking lying clown in his lyrics. They're gonna shoot her. I keep it on me, this and that. You know, first off, you and your whole crew ain't shooters, and they're all fucking weak little nerds, and none of them kept it on them. Okay, you got fucking mowed down. <laughs> you know... And your fucking crew watched. That's how much of a fucking hardcore gangster you are, you fucking nerd-ass fucking rapper. Good God. It's embarrassing, man. It's totally fucking embarrassing. It's like, what, what, what? You were a little gangbanger 20 years ago when you were a kid? You probably never even shot at anybody, this and that. But now, you know, now you oh, are. Yeah. I've been a shooter. I keep it on me. It's like, no, homie. You were a nerd gangbanger. Probably got your ass fucking jumped. Crying like a little bitch. Got your ass beat a couple times. Fucking threw your flag and shit. Fucking threw it over the fucking fence like a little bitch. Running down the block, holding your pants up. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck, dude? You think I'm fucking stupid? It's embarrassing. How many, I mean, how many fucking times I've been lied to in my life? You think I'm going to believe some fucking rapper who I don't even fucking know? God damn. People, my jobs lied to me. My friends lied to me. My family lied to me. Okay, I don't believe fucking shit. I don't believe fucking shit. I, I only believe shit I motherfucking see, son. Alright? Alright, motherfucking little wiggers. God damn. How many times I gotta repeat that? This story is so amazing to me. He's like, I'm gonna blick you up. I'm gonna blicky you. I'm gonna some twenty year old, five foot seven, fucking skinny nerd. His fucking my wrist is fucking bigger than his fucking bicep. He's at work. He's at work. I'm gonna blicky you up. Blah, blah, blah. And then it, it came down to fucking meeting him out back after work. Meet me. I'm gonna meet you out back. And I'm. I was like, I was like, what are that? I I said something like, on my life. You won't. I swear to God, like, all my life, you won't. <laughs> and he was like, on your life? This is the, uh, uh. And his female, his female fucking whack-ass cousin came over. She's acting all hardcore, you know. And, the, and then about two hours later, he has other co-worker. Oh, he doesn't want no problems. He's not about that life. He's actually intimidated by you. <laughs> oh, my God. And that's what I see in life, you know, like, and what I predicted and believed actually came true, like everything. It's either an hour or two away, or it's five years, 10, 20 years away. It's going to come to light that I was right, you know, because <laughs> I know shit. I, I see through motherfuckers. I, I, I can see through what the fuck you're trying to do, you know. It's totally embarrassing. It's totally embarrassing. You know, some other guy at work, you know, a little bit bigger than me, if you want to count his fat and gut chubbiness. But in reality, he's not bigger than me. You take away all his fat and shit, he's not, he might be a little bit, he might be my size, but he's a little bit bigger, you know. I, I, I might, we might be the same height, but regardless, 
He, he's a, probably a little bit older than me too, but he said some bullshit about knocking me out. It's like, I think it happened. It never, you can try. You can try, little shit talker. Behind my back, shit talking around the corner, shit talking fucking clown. With all the co workers, you can try, but it ain't gonna fucking happen. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I don't even talk to nobody. I, I'm a real G, so I move in silences and that. And they, they, I, it's crazy. It's crazy because they listen to rap constantly. And it's like, you know, all these new rappers, they've been saying, have been, and still are saying, oh, no, no love, no new friends, this and that. You know, move in silence, don't talk. That's, not, that's exactly what I do. But see, you know, I don't have, I'm not a rapper celebrity. So so I get fucking downplay. I, they hate me. People hate me. People hate me. But But they love their their favorite rapper basically rapping and plus my criminal history is all about robbing and stealing and shit bro kick pulling kick those whatever <laughs> i actually lived and i still am living what these famous mainstream rappers are rapping about but these people fucking hate me <laughs> they but they love they love what they're listening to, you know, spitting the lyrics, bobbing their, yeah, man, yeah. And then, and then me, it's like, they hate me. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't, I don't understand this shit. I mean, I honestly don't understand it. I fucking don't. But it is what it is. That's how fucking fucked up this planet is, man. How fugazi, fake, this 98% fucking fake faggot shit is it's it's bad man it's and you know what like i'm about to start working out hard body i'm, I'm honestly uh and i always knew that the bigger i get you know the more prison time i'm gonna because i'm gonna i'm gonna actually like, i flex i like i will actually flex on motherfuckers like legitimately like i'll 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 want them to fucking do something like oh I'll, I'll be losing job 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 you know, I'll be getting in fight, fight, fights. I'll be charge, 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 murder, murder. You fuck with me, it's murder, bro. Like, like the bigger I get too. That's why I never got big. But now it's like I don't, I don't got that much time left, honestly. And it, it's time for the real to come the fuck back. And I don't, I don't care about my YouTube views. This, the internet's not real. It's a clown show. It's a little kid show. Okay, Berwick. Go, go watch Ricky Berwick. Okay, go thumbs up and like and comment on Ricky Berwick's page, okay? It's embarrassing. Now, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm an Aries too. I'm an Aries. I, I, I got fighting skills. It's not like I'm a fake. Uh, it's not like I'm shit talking here fake to y'all motherfuckers. My dad is a beast, always was. I was always a beast. I gave up. I gave up on friendships and shit. And if I didn't, I'd be just like my dad in and out of prison. Certain. Eight year stints, nine year, you know, five year stints and shit. I mean, because I'm so like my love and shit is so crazy. My my respect, disrespect type shit, that I'm gonna have to fucking kill somebody, like put somebody in a hospital for fucking with me or my my a close one. That's why I can't get, I couldn't get close to nobody. You understand that, people? Like, I care too much and shit. I got too much of a, a big heart. I'm too... Okay, I care too much. Psycho. Big heart. It, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. But now, it's, it's to the point where I'm so fucking tired of all this fake shit. All this disgusting ass fucking loser shit. That I'm just gonna start fucking displaying shit in real life. Displaying what a real boss is. Because it's, it's making me sick. Literally, it's making me sick to my fucking stomach. My brain, my heart can't handle it no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like I mean, th and there's some dudes who are like, you know, swollen up and shit, whatever. But it, most of them have families, this and that. I was like, why the, f why the fuck are you working out like you're a beast of some sort? It's like you can't do it. You're you're locked down. You are locked down. 
your wife and kids and your job, your career has you locked down where you can't display real fucking power on the streets. You can act hard, this and that, but you can't get hard. You, you, you can't. You're, locked, you're, you're, in a trap. you're in a trap. Now, me, I, I'm not trapped the fuck down, son. Yeah, that's why I'll shut your fucking yap quick. I'll knock you the fuck out because I have no no consequences like scaring me and shit. There's no career losing. There's no missing my kids or nothing. There's no, There's nothing. <laughs> So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna blow the fuck up. I'm just gonna gain. I mean, I, I, I am kind of feeling shit. All the pull ups and shit I've been doing recently, but it's only been like mediocre. It's only been medium, if that type um, work. Like, uh, you know, medium type uh, effort. Like I'm going full fucking effort here soon. Chest, arms, everything. And I, <laughs> and I'm not lying to you, people. Like I'm, I know how to fight. You know, I can take a hit too. Are you gonna hit me? No, not really, because it just, it just doesn't happen. Like you really can't just hit me. You know, you can't. That's how fucking skilled I am at fighting. And if you do, if you actually do hit me, I don't even fucking feel that shit. Trust me, I don't even feel it. It's bad, people. It's bad. Like, I am fucking beyond mentally ill. Because, like, when I, when, I, when I get mad and shit, and it's fight time, like, there's nothing going through my head except, like, you're, de you're dead. Like, you're dead. That's, like, death is going through my head. Like, I, I am, I'm trying to hurt you as bad as possible. Like, with every cross, jab, hook, uppercut, what a bite, whatever I gotta do, kick. It's nothing but pure anger and to hurt you as bad as possible. Knock you out, break, break, whatever. Basically, like, I want to kill you. I, I just, I want you dead. I, I want to teach you a lesson so bad I want to kill you. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, I'm not. Once I once I get like myself like to the to the point where I want, I won't be scared of like big big boy. Big big boys can't fight. What they can lay, they can like bear hug you, lay you down and shit. They can't. They're too slow and they can't. They can't fight. They just can't fight. They're too massive. They can't throw punches and shit. They're too slow. Too big. I don't want to. I don't want to get too big, but I want to be intimidating as shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to be into, especially, I mean, not everybody, like, there's a massive amount of men who don't work out. And all, and a lot of them act hard. You know, it's embarrassing. Twigs, twigs are acting hard. Twig kids are acting <laughs> I mean, if, if I made that kid intimidating before I started working out, I wonder what He's been thinking, because he, you can kind of tell I'm getting more cut up and shit at work, this and that, wearing my little shirts, whatever, this, this and that, you know what I'm saying? But I wonder what he's going to think here soon. Like, what are motherfuckers going to think here soon? Like, it, it's embarrassing. Like, and, and this twig, I'm talking, like, he, there's, like, you can't. There's, like, no way he can even gain muscle. <laughs> he can eat as much as he wants, this and that. Like, his frame, his genetics won't even allow him. <laughs> it's bad. Like, it's bad. I mean, good lord. Yeah, he even has chicken legs. You know. My legs are actually... Even my thigh, my thigh is like swollen. All these uh, years of bike riding, I got big thighs, big calves. You know, definition type shit. Like it's bad. You know, and that one, that one fucking clown, who said he's gonna knock me out. That dude has no stamina, nothing. I mean, I'd be riding my mountain bike, my BMX up hills, mountains and shit, this and that. Like I I'd love to see that motherfucker try to fight me. Because first off, I'm knocking him the fuck out at first contact, which would be in a second, but 
even if we were scrapping and wrestling and shit, he'd be worn the fuck out. There's no cardio. There's no bike riding. There's there's no exercise. There's no exercise there. <laughs> what the fuck? I just don't get, you know, these clowns. I, 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 I honestly don't get it. I, I just, and I, you know, I don't get a lot of, like, I don't, I don't get along with females. I don't, I don't get along with books, bookworm shit. I don't get along with people in general. I, I just don't get it. I, I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted with a lot of shit. I really am. You know, maybe if I could trust some, if I could like trust somebody, but there's no trust. I mean, there's honestly, there's, like, there's no way I can trust or love or respect you. Like, my family thought my dad had problems with love, trust, respect, whatever. I am way, way worse. Um, like my my dad might have been labeled worse than. I ever will be to the to the point like to the fact whatever to the degree of like you know being locked up and like just fucking putting dudes in hospitals and shit and fighting and but like I said that would have been me I mean my my younger days I go like, damn my younger days were probably worse than my dad honest that's why that's why I back the fuck out man I mean, my younger days, I was a fucking goon. Like, I was a fucking beast. You know, compared to all the other kids, I was number one fucking top dog, the beast. It's the fucking mafioso. For real, don't fuck with Marcus. It's over. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's why, that's one reason, like I said, man, I'd be in prison if I didn't step the fuck away from people's fucking shit little mind games, shit talking, backstabbing, lying, manipulative type behaviors i can't deal with that shit man how, how the fuck am i gonna deal with being treated like shit when i was treated like shit basically my entire childhood my final group of friends you know after i moved away from three other fucking towns three other groups of friends lost them final group lied to me cheated body shamed me grew up abused all ways you know i can't a person, a child, a human, a soul can only take so much to the point where they're so fucking damaged, you know, that I don't, I don't even give motherfuckers a chance, you know, to become my friend or get close to me. It's not even going to happen. Like, I had one, th those old acquaintances, I don't even count. I, I don't even count them. Two old acquaintances. That, that was like almost two decades ago, but... Here, like, five, six years ago, I had one acquaintance, but I, I never let him go. I chill, I chill with him one time out of work for, like, an hour or two. We fucking smoked and talked about his car, like, outside of his house, whatever. But he's, he's like, ten years younger than me. But he was, like, the last acquaintance-type semi-friend I had. Like, a work friend I had. He was the last work friend I had, man, for real. And I always knew that... I'd never, maybe if he was like around my age closer, I would have be like, I would try to become his friend because we did get a, like, he was just funny as shit, you know, and wild, like, and didn't give a fuck, you know, but, but he, he was so young that you could see him changing, like, he this change, and I don't think he changed yet, he's still wild and young and shit, whatever, kind of young, but in due time, he, he would change and shit, and I, It'd be bad, it'd be bad. So there's no point to even, you know. Plus there's even a chance before he changed whatever that he could fuck shit up, you know. And I'd lose him as a friend, as whatever, you know. So I, I don't even, I didn't even give him a chance really at all. You know. But like, I don't even, I don't know, like, Maybe, maybe I will find someone else who's wild and crazy and don't give a fuck at the job, you know, but everybody now is like, everybody cares too much and it's crazy. Like everybody, everybody's so like robotic. It's embarrassing. It's either they're like, they're, 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 they're like, they're actually close to my age or my age and they're so immature. Like they actually think immaturity and, and making high pitched voices and shit at work is funny. 
It's like, no, acting like a kid is not funny to me anymore. And I don't do that shit. Like, me and that homie also, we had, we did certain crazy sh- we, we did crazy shit to make each other laugh, you know? Like, crazy rule breaking and shit, and shit talking, you know, and, and whatever the fuck else. Like, smoking, like, smoking weed. We both, we both love weed too, but now, like, my weed days are over, it's like, I'm, I'm even harder to get, I'm, I'm honestly harder to get along with now, especially at the job site, because I don't smoke weed no more. <laughs> you know, like, there's people now, some of them smoke weed, they're goofing off, whatever, they're smiling, having fun, talking. Like, even this one guy close to my age, like, he's actually, him and this 17-year-old little white girl who she thinks she's ghetto, they're, like, laughing, getting along. It's like, how the fuck are you going to be my age and shit, get along with this? What the fuck? What? What? I, I don't even... This is not even fucking possible. I mean, my last job, though, I got along with a little 19... But she was, like, a kind of fat, weird, half-gothic, dumb pothead. I wasn't smoking either months ago at the time. I haven't smoked for, like, six months now, but... I got along with her. That was weird, though, honestly, how I got along with her. I mean, it, it just... It has to... It, it has to do something with someone's, like... Character, honestly. And there's not many characters I get along with. You know, it's crazy. I I don't get along with nobody at my job now. I mean, this one Mexican, he's like 20s, like mid 20s. This one Mexican, you know, but he doesn't really speak full English. That's why we get along. You know, I don't, I don't know. Even if he did speak like more English, we probably still get along. It's just the way he is. He doesn't take things too serious, you know, he doesn't joke too much. He's a good worker, you know. I don't get along with workers who think they're better than me, bitch a lot. Like, it's it's weird, it's weird. But there's just so many pieces of shit workers there, it's un... It's unbelievable. It's, it's totally... It's totally unbelievable. How many shit workers there is. <sighs> I mean, honestly, and one of the reasons I can't work, like, any career, profession, or job, like, even my shit job right now, it's not even, it's not even, like, a job. It's not a career. It's not a profession. But... Uh, one of the reasons why I'm not happy, because I sh- like it's not it's not it's, sh- it's not my life. It shouldn't have been, like my life should have been totally different than what it is now. And I know that you know, like I should have been a fighter, paid mixed martial arts, mixed martial artist, whatever. Even like a a pro video gamer. I actually, mad years ago. When I, I mean, I knew I was pro since the beginning, but I, I was pro for so long that, like, but, but even, like, I just told myself, the whole time I was telling myself, like, I'm too, I'm actually too ghetto and shit. I'm too gangster to become a fucking pro nerd gamer. I can't do it. But I should have. I fucking, I should have threw my gangsterness to the side and, you know, became a pro, man. Or, or started, like, a YouTube, like, like, Change, like, maybe change my attitude, this and that, a little bit, you know, and, and, and made, like, a YouTube, an overpaid YouTube channel that could still be going right now, making mad money playing video games. I mean, honestly, you know, I, I had the skills, I still do have the skills, I'm not gonna lie, but I, I, the skills are there, the skills were there, you know, and even the commentary, the the funniness could have been there, you know, and But then again, I'd be the type of person to fucking you know, fuck my channel up or whatever, or it just die naturally. 
it die off and like I just I'd lose my mind. I, I like I would actually I would rather never have it than have it for a little bit and then just watch it die. You know, that'd be it'd be hard. It'd be hard for me getting fucking adjusting back into the fucking simp shit life, you know, of working for a living. I wouldn't be able to fucking <laughs> I really wouldn't have son. But there is some like people who ain't even good at video games who were, you know, like Wantrell Bishop, my favorite YouTuber. He's making money off streams right now because people just enjoy his, uh, you know, character and shit. <laughs> you know, like he's not good. He's making some decent money right now, streaming. You don't even got a lot of subscribers. That could have been me, son. That could have been me, left and right, but it's not. You know, plus, like I said, mixed martial arts. I mean, honestly, I don't. I, w I never see myself doing anything on this planet. Like, there's no office job for me. There's no warehouse position. There's. I'm not a cook. You know, the guy. There's just nothing for me to do. They're never, I never seen myself doing anything, except beating the fuck out of someone. You know, like training, focusing on the on an opponent, and just fucking fighting them. That's the only thing I could see myself doing. But now it's that's that's been long gone, pretty much my age and shit. That's gone. So now it's just like. You're you're basically doomed. You missed the cards you were dealt, and uh, you know. It is, and I try to get that shit starting at a young young age, just like a lot of fucking, you know, pros did. Like even re recently, recently retired, or they're about to retire. Like I should be a, I should be with them. I should be in that bracket, honestly, about to retire, with mad money in my fucking bank. <laughs> Because I tried to start the same age they did, you know, five, six, seven, eight years old. But mom, mom said, no, you're not. You're not going to join that jujitsu karate class down the street, Marcus. You're not allowed to. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just think about, you can be anything you want to be in America. You know, if you're allowed, your your mom has the money. Your single mom lets you. You could have been. <laughs> you should have been. Like, I'm a poster child for real. You know, you can miss the cards you were dealt very easily, especially when you're fucking denied. Unbelievable, son. I mean, should I kept, should I kept, like, persistent, whatever, and kept begging? Yeah, I should have, but I just didn't. <laughs> I was, I was a good boy. I listened to her, you know. I thought it was just, like, it's not available. It's not, <laughs> you know, like, she told me straight up, no, you can't. So it's like, that's that, you know, it's like, what the fuck? I listened, you know what I mean? I shouldn't have, though. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. And then I was I was just thrown into mad, like, soccer. You know, she put me into soccer, like, a year or two after I asked to do soccer, football, basketball, baseball. I was playing mad sports and shit. You know, and then... By the time I realized I was an actual fucking fighter, for real, by the age of like 14, 15, 16, I started smoking weed at 14. But 14, 15, 16, 17, I was beating the fuck out of people. <laughs> smoking weed and drinking and shit, doing drugs. And, you know, it was just, weed was my life. You know, after 18, for mad years, I didn't give a fuck about goddamn training, going to the gym and shit. I just wanted to sit there and smoke weed. I had a lot of pain and shit going, like a lot of memories and shit, a lot of abuse, a lot of bad shit with my friends. I had to ease the pain, son, for real. You know, just sit in there fucking. <laughs> oh, shit! I miss smoking for real, son. I miss smoking for real. But that, those days are over. I'm never going. I'm never going the fuck back. Too much money. I mean, if I, 
It's just too much money. Especially now that my mom, my mom stopped smoking. It'd be way too much money out of my pocket for me to get high. I am not even fucking doing it. Wow, this dude's a fucking nerd. It's unbelievable. And look at, look, look at, look at this. It's amazing how much money these fucking losers made doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, man. What a privileged fucking life. What a privileged life, man. Some JB Weld. What a privileged fucking life, man. Meanwhile, I gotta go to work at a job I hate and uh, work for pennies, basically. <laughs> and have my body hurt, my feet and shit, my ankles, my legs and shit hurt from all the fucking moving and walking I gotta do. You know? That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. It <laughs> really... Like, these people don't even know how easy they have it. They really don't. O3 Greedo is back. I never really even listened to this nigga. But yeah, he still has, like, a fan base and shit. Holy hell. Weird fucking rap name, honestly. O3 Greedo. It's like, what the fuck? Unbelievable. You know what? These these new rappers suck so much dick. Like, Key Glock. I listened to Key Glock's new mixtape. It was... I couldn't wait for it to end. It was so fucking bad. And, like, Lil Baby, all these rappers are just straight trash. Like, after listening to fucking Shaheem and some shit today, I literally, literally, like, Sam Scarfo and Shaheem, Big Pressure, four months ago, with only 14,000 14, views. You know, then you have a Cloak feature in Shaheem and Chadio the One. Get your mind right, eight months ago, not even 10,000 views. Like, you got, like, real beats and real rappers, real bars that nobody's listening to. Like, <laughs> listen... Everybody listening to fucking garbage, like trash. It's it's I'm I'm I, I can't believe it. I can't believe shit, man. <laughs> it's it totally amazing me. Key Glock. This dude's a fucking clown. Alright. Damn, I never I never really looked at him either. He's a skinny ass fucking clown nerd, isn't he? Um But yeah, I'm gonna try to find this mixtape. You know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go to the actual Jesus fucking Christ. It's just mind boggling to me. <laughs> Like, rap is so fucking dead, it's not even... Only little kids are listening anymore. I just tooted the fucking fart out. Like, little dumb- little, little, little Glaucoma, too. <laughs> oh my god. About time, some good music. Are you serious? Oh, man. This shit is embarrassing, son. I mean, people, I can't, I can't do this shit. Like, rap, rap sucks so much dick that I was getting yelled at for having my earbuds in at work with my old iPod. An old iPod with, like, thousands of songs, mostly all old rap. Actually, not old rap, but rap from 2013, 14 type shit, 15, 16. A lot of little B too. A lot like nine hundred some songs with little B. 
Bass God, shouts out. Thank you, Bass God. Greatest, one of the greatest rappers of all time. Influential. My top ten. But, like, you know, iPod, no Bluetooth. So I have wires going up, you know. And, like, the next day I was wearing it. I was wearing them in the office and everything. The same managers didn't say, dude, you can tell me over and over again. The same damn when I keep putting them back in. I don't give a fuck. But, you know, I was about to get, like, a new fucking um, little Bluetooth player. What, like, some 30-something dollar Bluetooth little fake iPod. You know. And I was gonna, I was gonna get it. My mom was actually gonna pay for it. She did, she, she bought it, whatever. I had her buy it. And then, you know, the next morning I had her cancel it. Because I'm thinking, I'm like... Because, you know, I got Bluetooth earbuds too. That I barely used. But I got some nice J-Lab Bluetooth earbuds. And cause I, there's different hats. I could, like, some skull type. Like a, a thin skull little beanie type thing. Cover. I, I can have that shit cover in, like, my eyes and ears completely at work pretty much. I can still see, but the... Either way, I can cover my ears, and I'd have the ear, the J-Labs in, listening to music, you know, without fuckers crying and shit, but I, I thought about it, and I was like, wait a minute, I can only download, like, new new music, basically, like, yeah, I can download all them little B mixtapes and shit again, and, like, I could probably download some older mixtapes and rap, but, you know, it, pretty much have all the little B on that iPod. But yeah, come to think about it, I can, there's, there is a bunch of old mixtapes on this uh, website. But you know what, actually, there, you can't, you can't download them. I'm gonna put like, drop that, drop that, drop that like, you know, 50, whatever. You know, look at this, look at this, look at this. Drop that 38. Oh, shit, you still can't download. What, my nigga? Let me, let me see, let me see, let me see. Drop that 26. Oh, shit, you still can't download. You know? But, yeah, if it comes down to it, I'm gonna, definitely gonna buy, have that, have her buy that shit again, whatever, buy it myself. Now that I see, I can get, you know, 2008 type raps and shit like that. I can get a bunch of fucking... Look at that, look at that, look. Drop that 12. Can't download that, though. Drop that 21. You can. <sighs> drop that 10. You can't. <laughs> Let me see when drop that 10. 2008. Everything's in 2008. Probably the furthest you can go back is 2008 on this website. You can get some shits. Let me, let me peep, drop that 30 up. Try you can download that. So somewhere around 18, 19, whatever. Drop that. Um, let me see about a kind of newer drop that. If I can, like, drop that, uh... Drop that 103, yes, you can get, which would be in 2010. So yeah, I could, I can get some old, before rap died, you know, way before rap. Rap died basically like 2000, like, to 10, like 2000, 2011, 12, 13, rap started dying. And then by 14, 15, 16, 17, it started getting horrible. And then 18, 19, it, it's 18, 19, 20, it's dead. It's fucking dead shit. Like, any any fucking mainstream rapper you hear is trash. Like, there, I mean, obviously, there's still good old rappers rapping now, like I said. Like, older rappers and shit, but that's it. You gotta be an old rapper to be good nowadays. You, a young rapper, you're fucking trash. Like, for real. There's, I mean, there's a few, a few ex exceptions, you know, and you, it's, that's rare, that's rare, like Certified Trapper.
And you know why he's good? Because, like, he's basically his own style right now. Plus, he makes his own beats, own videos, own everything. That's how good he is. I mean, but, you know, all his songs sound the same, though. I remember Lil B haters. Lil B haters are like, oh, he has all them songs. Like, he has thousands of songs. He has like a hundred songs on a mixtape, but they all sound the same. Well, guess what? Certified Trapper, all these little fucking, all these fans, all this new rapper, new fans, nobody says they all sound the same. They don't care. You know, even there's, he don't even have any haters like Lil B does. Lil B did. Nobody's saying they they sound the same. That's amazing to me, which they should because it's it's actually worse than Lil B. Lil B had different beats and different like flows and shit and different vibes and and different like types of songs, different like you know like different meanings and shit, different stories and shit. Now, this dude is just it's one thing, one beat, one flow. <laughs> you know, like, but nobody's saying it's all the same. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, just let that be a lesson to you clowns how fucking fake and shit this world is now. I mean, good God. Who the fuck did I just see right there? That was disgusting. What a clown. I'm not even lying. Jesus, I don't even want to tell you people what I just seen. Um And he's and certified trapper is just goofy as shit. Which is kinda of getting old because it's, it's like I said it's the same thing, same video. The same goofiness a million times back to back. Um but yeah, that's the video. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this fucking food, whatever. I want to eat like I want to eat mad food right now. It's just that everything in Lidditz is basically closed. One day I'm in Lidditz right now. It's garbage as shit. Everything's closed. Yeah. Plus I'm too lazy to go out. Plus I barely have any money. I'm missing days of work because some that that 17 year old bitch took over. A 17 year old bitch. Took over my job basically. Now I'm missing days of work. You know, like everything's closed. Like I said, I'm too lazy. I, I have no cell phone to order. I, I'd have to go somewhere and order first and wait in my fucking car or whatever for 10, 15 minutes. It's disgusting. That shit does get old, honestly. Instead of just calling in and then picking it up like that. You gotta go in and order. It's, it's that's the only thing that pisses me off. Not having a cell phone is pre that pre order. You know what I mean? that pre order for my because all I care about is food. Honestly. Like I said, cat, camp, car, my possessions, and food. Food, I food is all I got basically at this juncture. And like like for purchase, like I don't buy anything no more. Honestly. Like I bought my sub. I had to replace my subwoofer. But that was it. Like I, I don't, I don't buy clothes. I don't buy shit. I don't, I don't give a fuck what's released. I wouldn't even care if a fucking PS Five was for a hundred dollars. I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> you know, like I'm done with video gaming. I'm done with clothes. Everything. Like I'm done with products. All products are just, it's, it's unappealing. It, Food, baby. All I care about, all I want to buy and eat and do is food, son. That's all I fucking want. And you, I got to work out, too. I got to work out when I'm eating that fucking food, son. I got to fucking... But I'm about to make my uh, griller steak, a nice big old griller steak. With a can of vegetables. I should have a potato or some sorts, whatever, but... I kind of ate too many yams and potatoes recently. That's why I kind of, I'm taking a break. Too much, too much sour cream and chives on my god, you know, or marshmallows, mini marshmallows on my yams. Oh my god, broiled. 
bake that shit, then you broil it for like a 30 seconds, whatever, a minute. Oh my god. With marshmallows covered on fucking top. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this steak. This bang. Oh my god, I'm gonna broil this banging steak. Oh my god. And I, you know, honestly, like food, food, it's, it's bad. Like, it, I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired of, of food. I really, it's like, they, there's nothing new, you know, like you can try different Mexican food, whatever, Spanish food, Dominican, it's like all the same. And then the American food, it's like chicken, you know, beef and shit steak whatever is beef it, it, it just every it's like talk talk making tacos it, it just gets old everything you know a indian food i barely eat but like indian curry type food but there's only like one or two places around that even that shit even gets old it gets so old i don't even i barely eat it because you get old like that and then, like, basically just every, like, all the store food, like, like, everything in the store is just old now, you know, and even buying, like, hot wings, hot wings is getting old, you know, like, it, honestly, it's like, pork, the pork rinds I get at the, at the Dominican place is getting old, you know, pork chops old, it's like, it's just everything. It, honestly, it's like, like Jamaican food, same old jerk type shit, old, you know, fish. I barely eat fish and shrimp, but that's, I had, I had salmon a couple days ago, shrimp, like a little bit of shrimp yesterday, shrimp mafungo. Like even, even the fish gets old, you know, it's like, I don't know, it's fucked up, man. It's like, yeah, I want to, I want to eat. <laughs> I love eating. I love eating and stuff, but it's just like it's 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 just old. It's, it's getting old. It's like it's bad, man. It's bad. Well, this video it's about to just cut off by itself here any second. But I should end it, whatever, right now. But. I don't know, food, food is just like, it's good and all, I love it, you know, but, I, I see myself like, like the past couple of days, man, <sighs> like, and, and Italian, Italian food is, it gets old, Italian food gets fucking old. Pizza, everything. It just even even banging pizza from banging places gets old, man. You know, like and I, all the time. I honestly, Italian. I don't. I, I, I don't like. I mean, Italian food is like the worst food for me. I just I don't dig it. You know, like I just don't dig that shit. All the fettuccine, whatever the fuck. All the noodle, noodles and just like just noodles and cheese. It's like what the fuck? I don't want that shit. What the fuck's wrong with you? Like lasagna is good, but that gets old quick. You know, like, and it has to. You know what? Ricotta cheese, but like some lasagna is good, but the best the best lasagna has ricotta. I guarantee fucking see if it. If it doesn't have ricotta, like, I might purchase your shit once and eat it, but if it don't have ricotta, I'm not coming back. You, you got it? You got me? You got it? You got it? If you don't, if you don't have ricotta, I'm not coming back. You got it, capiche? To all you Italian fucking restaurants, it's fucking retarded, niggas, retarded. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like all food is just fucking. It's disgust. It's actually disgusting anymore. It's disgusting me. Yeah, I I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I can't do it. Like, 
I don't know what I'm going to do here. Like, I do want to work out and blow up a little bit, but how am I going to do that one, like, you know? I mean, honestly, the, you know what? Like, breakfast, breakfast doesn't get old. Honestly, breakfast does not get old. And I can eat the same breakfast every morning, too. But I mix it up. I mix, I mix that shit up, you know what I'm saying? But the breakfast doesn't get old. The, the problem is... Like, it's crazy. Like, breakfast does not get old. Lunch, kind of get... Dinner is old. Like, dinner is old news. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> if that makes sense, people. Dinner is a problem for me right now, honestly. Dinner is a major fucking problem. And I don't know what I'm going to do here in the next... It better, you know what, this little fucking mind game, whatever, this mind blockage, it better go away here soon. But I don't know, man. Like, I, I have to have, like... I have to be craving it. Like, I have to... I have to... Like, I have to strategize what I'm going to eat for dinner every day now. Like, it's bad. And, like, I want to eat more. I want to eat, like, two, three dinners. But it's like, I can't. Because, it, like, it, it's so disgusting. It's old, you know? It's crazy right now, man. Like, I do kind of want, like, roast beef right now. Horseradish roast beef. Salt. But the problem is, on the, like, putting it on, like, a, a pretzel. Uh, Oven-baked, you know, frozen pretzel. I, I can't do that right now. I just can't do it that way, and that's the only way I know how to do it. Like, I'm not putting it on a bread or some shit, any kind of special bro. Hell no. But for some reason, I just can't, like, I I can't. Wow, you know, what? that thunder is scary. It's scary. It's scary. It's about a thunderstorm in this bitch. But, uh, like, I, I, I just can't picture myself eating that pretzel part right now. I, I, I can't. And I, I stopped eating bread for a while, but like everything I eat now, it's like it has like it's bread. It's bread, like pizza, my fucking shrimp, my fungo. A lot of shit I've been eating recently. Like it just has bread in it, you know, this and that. It's crazy. Which is it's sad too, man. I, I, I need to I need to stop. I need to fucking stop, y'all, for real, son. I need to stop bread, like. Like, eating a little bit of sugar here and there, candy, sweets, cakes, desserts, fucking cheesecake, whatever. I really, I don't know if I can, I mean, I did, I, I did stop, for, for a little bit, there was no sweets like that or bread for months. I don't know how I did that shit, that was crazy. But, I, I, I wanna, I wanna stop sweets and everything and bread, but it's just, it's mad hard, it's fun. Bread, bread should be easier, though, than sweets, honestly. But I just want, I want to get, like, more muscle swollen up, and then I want to, like, you know, get my stomach slim the fuck down. Stomach and waist stay slim, hardcore. And that, that's where you got to cut back just all bread, stop eating bread and sweets and everything, for real. And it's going to happen here soon. It is. I'm gonna start sweating and working out this and that, riding bike hardcore in the summer. Stomach stomach core workouts, this and that, at work, during work, whatever, after work, before work. It's gonna be biblical. I'm gonna get the fucking shape, man. Mainly, mainly for myself and to fucking intimidate and beat the fuck out. But then also for the biddies, because I gotta I gotta start opening up the biddies. <laughs> this is bad. Like I got to use my natural, I can't even say, I got to use my natural born gifts and shit before it's too late, honestly. I got to use my, my sexy ass body and shit. And my body's not that sexy right now. I mean, it's, it's sexier than a lot of dudes. But a lot of dudes are fucking whack. But it, it need, I can get it more sexy and I'm, I'm going to get it and then I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it to my advantage for real, son. Before it's too late. You know, before everything's fucking too late. A lot of shit. Um, because I already, I already regret a lot of shit in my life, and, you know, I, I just don't want to regret anymore, for real, I don't want to regret anymore, man, for real, son, 
I just want I want to like paraglide through the I want to paraglide through this life the rest of my life like decently. You know, I just want to glide through this shit. I don't got to fucking take nose dives and I don't have to fucking soar up. You know, I don't got to soar up to the fucking mountains to feel good and shit about my life or whatever, my feelings and shit from here on. I I just got to glide, son. I got to glide and I'll be fine, you know. I'll be fine. So I just, you know, I got to start praying. Amen. Amen. God. You know, I got to start praying and shit, son. For real, son. I got to start meditating and praying along with a few other things. The fuck going on? This fucking tank top's like small, mad old. But yeah, um, it's pretty much it. <laughs> Why? How is this video still recording? Holy shit! You know what, Gorilla, Gorilla, whatever Nems, Gorilla Nems, he makes me sick. He really does. I don't like him. Dude thinks he's mad funny and shit with his bing bongs. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Good God, man. You heard me? You heard me? You heard me? It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Wanna be black ass motherfucker? You ain't black, son. You never were black. You never will be black. It's embarrassing. God damn. <laughs> damn, son. I did how about that, Bing? Bing bong, nigga, you ain't black, dumbass bitch. You never were, you never will be. Bing bong that, bitch, you heard? God damn, son. And he better not be saying the fucking N-word ever. Motherfucking clown, son. I mean, I'll let him slide. I'll let him slide with the way he's acting right now. But if he fucking says the N-word, it's over. It's fucking over, Johnny. Cause you gotta be black, son. You gotta be black in order to say that shit, son. Your mommy and daddy has to be one of them has to be black, nigga. And that's full black. We ain't I ain't letting no fucking twenty five percent half black mom, half black dad down. You gotta be fucking you gotta have a full black motherfucker, nigga. You wanna you wanna dig that you wonder her, nigga? God damn, son. I'm tired of this shit, boy. But yeah, um, <sighs> That's the video for Rocky. I have nothing else. <laughs> I got nothing else to fucking, you know. Oh shit, it just started raining too. That's crazy, son.